There were tears in the public gallery today as a former resident of Gloria Vale recalled the exhaustion and brutal work hours she endured within the community. Virginia Courage is one of six women arguing she was an employee while working at the isolated Christian commune, not a volunteer. Keisha Brownlee reports. Virginia Courage gave birth to nine children inside Glory Vale. Today she holds her 11th, which she'll raise outside of the isolated West Coast commune. They might tell you that you're taking all your children to hell. Which for a mother is unbearable to even think about or consider. The 43-year-old left Glory Vale in 2019. She left because she felt the community was straying from its Christian faith. To say that Gloryville is a Christian community is wrong. It is a cheap labour camp. Current Gloryville members who have attended each day this week deny work is forced. Virginia said when she was a young single woman, life was tough. By the time they actually get to bearing their children, their bodies are actually physically damaged. Virginia said she was expected to go to work rather than care for her babies. I was getting my primary school age sisters to go to my room in the morning as I worked and a couple of times they forgot and I could hear her screaming from where I was working in the kitchen. Work even underpinned relationships in the community. I know of girls in Gloryville that couldn't work fast enough or hard enough or put out the same standard of work as other people and they were picked on, bullied, ostracised. One of Virginia's daughters fell into that category. It drove her from the community. I was over 20 weeks pregnant with my 10th kid. I was still throwing up with morning sickness. I just thought, I want to die, I want to die. Channeling that emotion on the fifth day of an employment court hearing examining the role of women at Gloryvale. A volunteer doesn't exist in Gloryvale. You are not volunteering. It's always called work at Glory Vale. But on the outside, as Virginia Courage's family now is, it'll take a court to decide. Keisha Brownlee, News Hub.